Hey, it's Asus from Low Code, and I wanted to show you a couple apps that we just built that have a bunch of features, very cool features, and uh, their community style of apps. So let's jump right in. So this is the Conscience Card app. So I am going to log in with a pin code and I sign in. And then I have to create my profile because based on my profile, we're gonna show the users different kind of things. So I can add my city, my state. I can either add a profile picture or not. So I move on to the next step. And then are you shopping in person or online? Let's say both. And then we ask these two questions and based on these questions, we will order the results that we have in the app uh, in a personalized way. So each user will have their own specific list. And then let's choose a couple. So take me in. Now, as you can see, we don't have yet enough uh, businesses, but we jump right into our businesses profile. And you see here that I have a list of you might like these businesses and they are ordered based on how many hearts, right? And these hearts are based on my profile. So if I go back to my profile, you see my shopping preferences, right? And the categories that I'm shopping for and the values that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for sustainable businesses and ethical businesses. So if I go back to my list and I go to Maytrade, I see Maytrade has a couple of badges, a local superstar and a green hero. I have details about this business. I can go to their website. And then this is uh, a very ethic business and a very sustainable business. I can send review about this business or I can add comments about this business. And then we order that list based on the match between uh, my preferences and the business. We have a feed, so users are adding new posts and asking for help, suggestions or help. Uh, so we can see the feed down here. Users are posting pictures or whatever. And then I can either visit Luna's profile and I can see her bio and all of her posts or I can start a chat with her. A very cool thing that we just implemented in chats is that we have a connection request first and then until this user has approved us then we do the match. So right now I cannot chat, I cannot send a message to this user until she has approved me. We have a community um, of users so if they uploaded a profile picture we show the profile picture otherwise we just show a gray image uh, this is my own profile so I can edit my own profile and then here we have the FAQs so the admin is updating these FAQs uh, and adding more so explaining how users can install the, their app share etc and we have our chat so in our chats I have just started a chat with this user but I am awaiting acceptance from them. Now I just made me the admin of this app. So I have the admin tab. In my admin tab, I can manage my badges. So I have so far these three badges and then I can assign this badge to businesses, right? Or if I click the business, I remove this badge to the business. And I can add more badges. So I choose the name, the description, the picture, and then when I have that, I can assign these badges to the different businesses to provide a very visual experience. I can manage my businesses so I can edit or I can create new businesses, their name, their type, uh, upload their logo, and then choose how ethical and sustainable and locally owned they are. And uh, I can also manage my reviews so I can see the reviews that users are adding for each store. In this case, the client didn't want the reviews to be public only the admin will be able to see those. And I can manage all of my users as well. And something that we didn't cover here for businesses, we have a very cool feature where we can have ads. So when I click manage ads, I have these two ads and we will randomly show these two ads on Wegman's profile. I can add more ads 
So description, picture, and link. So when we go back to the Businesses tab and we look at Wegmans, we have this image that is an ad that is pointing to a link, right? So that's a very cool way to provide uh, more within the app. So this is a good example of a community app and then I'm going to jump over to the African Brightbook. So in this case, just as well, I'm gonna log in. As soon as I get my pin code, I can sign in and I can create my profile. So in this case, I can, I have two options. Either I sign in as a client or sign in as a vendor, right? If I sign in as a client, we don't require a lot of information, just name. Maybe they wanna upload a profile picture, they choose their country. Based on their country, let's say they choose the US. So uh, they choose their city and their bio. And, or they can choose to be a vendor and then they add more details like their name, their logo, the categories of services that they provide, if they provide virtual services or not, if they're willing to travel, um, their description, their phone, etc. So I'm gonna jump in as if I'm a client. So test user, uh, let's choose the US. I mean, and then do you want to be included in your mailing list? So what we're doing is we're taking that value and if it's yes, then we send, we add them to our MailChimp or to this client's MailChimp and then we start sending them emails. So the first thing that you see here is we jump right into our vendors tab. We can look at the vendors in a map uh, layout or a list layout. We're calculating how far away the vendors are and in case of low code, since I signed in as a business that has no physical address, then that's why the distance calculator is not showing up. So I can look at, let's look at Food Bazaar, right? So I have Food Bazaar, I have their links to their Facebook, their Twitter, their website uh, that they added when they signed up to the app. We're also showing the average rating for this uh, business, right? Then we show the category, the services, if they provide virtual services or not, and if they're willing to travel, I can connect with Food Bazaar, they can upload pictures, they can upload, so they have an, a physical address, so I can click this and open my Google Maps, and then they can create products. So let's say they are a caterer, so they up or create their profile, but they can add products, and on each product, they can upload pictures, description, and more details. So when the African uh, Brightbook has a lot of vendors, the search bar will become very powerful and you can look for pretty much any value, any string of text, any word that shows up here. If I click the plus sign, then I can email, call, text, or book an appointment with this vendor. And also I can connect with this vendor in the app. So I click the connect, and then by default, if we are connecting with vendors, the connection has been accepted. If you are connecting with another user, uh, then they have to first approve the connection. Then I can come back to the chat and add here my comments. We have a list of resources, so we are allowing vendors to upload resources like blog posts, so posted by Food Bazaar, then the name, the article, the link, and people can add uh, comments to this. We have a feed so end users or clients can add new posts. Uh, in this case, question, idea, photo, or video. So they choose the category of their post and based on that, uh, they can upload a picture, upload a video, share a link, etc. We have the community tab. So we're showing all users, not all vendors, right? And then you can connect with other users and uh, chat with them. Just like the conscience card app, the other party has to accept the connection request before we match them and they can chat. Your profile, so you can hide yourself from the community if you don't want to be seen in the community. And then you can also favorite vendors. So if I add a vendor, let's add Food Bazaar to my favorites. Oh, I hit that thing. Uh, they would show up over there. I have to add this. And we have a contact tab. So this connects you to the owner of the app by in-app chat or by email. 
And just like the Conscious Card app, we have a way of um, the admin can do everything. Approve businesses, move businesses from tier one to tier two, and then we show different components or different things for each business, edit businesses, uh, edit resources, delete resources, delete posts, uh, and delete users from the app if they're not behaving. So a couple of recent apps that we've built, hope you like them. If you're interested in your own app, get in touch with us and we'll build it for you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching, take care.